What's up, YouTube? Tommy Forte again, back with another video, a.k.a. Tommy Israel. You know, I got to thinking about this Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, Oprah Winfrey situation. Who unleashed Oprah? Once again, Oprah Winfrey was unleashed. Now, they couldn't use Gail this time. Gail, she wasn't in deep enough. They used Gail against R. Kelly, you know, you know, um, little situation like that. But when you're doing a big fish, you got to use Oprah. But my thing is, who unleashed Oprah? You know, Oprah was definitely unleashed on Michael Jackson. She was about to be unleashed on Russell Simmons. She started getting backlash from the community. Now they unleashed Oprah on the royal family. But the question is, why? Now, Queen Elizabeth... She's worked about $600 million. At least that's what they say. I'm pretty sure they work way more than that. She's worth $600 million. Her son, Prince Charles, is worth $500 million. And, you know, their children, grandchildren, you know, they work $50 million here, $50 million there. You know, but that's some deep money. And they have this money basically just inherited. You know, um, Prince Andrew, you know, he's worked, um, you know, and notice he's friends with Jeffrey Epstein, you know, uh, Bill Clinton, Donald Trump. All of these dudes were said to be in that, uh, and their sex ring with them with kids with children. Jeffrey Epstein, um, all of them. Jeffrey Epstein, Donald Trump, Bill Clinton, Joe Biden, and Prince Andrew. You know, having you know sex parties with kids and all of these different things. You know, a bunch of fourteen year old girls and stuff like that. Awesome. You know. But, um, yeah, who sicked Oprah on now? See, it's a deep world, man, that we live in. And that these people be into and the things they be doing and stuff like that. Um, but I'm more than sure Oprah was unleashed. You know, because you don't, you know, if you think about it, biblically speaking, you know, these people will be considered your kings and queens on the earth. So we, we really don't recognize or see physical kings and queens, but the type of status and the money you have, you would be considered a king and queen on earth, you know, an important person. Like Michael Jackson was a king. I mean, he was the king of pop, but he would be considered a king because of the money he had. Kobe Bryant was considered a king. So that's why I know, you know, somebody did something to Kobe. Because kings don't die like that. Kings don't die like that. I mean, if a king die like that, then Jay-Z should drown tomorrow. Or Jay-Z should, you know, um, you know, get into a car accident, him and Beyonce, you know, that's not how kings die. You know, somebody did something to Kobe. You know, but again, back to what I'm saying is, you know, because of the royal family, the money that they have and they inherit wealth and different things like that, you know, even their children are already worth $25 million. But who unleashed Oprah? Why was it done? 
What was the purpose? The whole world look up, you know, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the world look up to these people as royalty, as king and queens, but yet a light was shed on them, a negative light was shed on them by Oprah, orchestrated by who? And why? I mean, we all knew, most of us knew Meghan Markle wasn't going to be accepted. So why shed that light? For what? What was the purpose? Why would Prince Harry get on TV and, you know, him and Meghan Markle and expose their family like that? And we all knew they were, again, you do, Prince Harry, you was in a doggone Nazi uniform. And your friends had KKK uh, outfits on. So, I mean, you just, of course, your family's racist. You are too. But why did Oprah expose them for the whole world to see? What was that? Who and who orchestrated that? That's how they use Oprah. They use Oprah very well and strategically. That's where her, you know, that billion dollars she got. That's that's you know, all of them is in a click. You know, just like she uh, friends with Jeffrey Epstein and and Harvey Weinstein. All of them, you know, all of them clicked up. Question is why? What's the purpose? Why now? Tommy Forte. AKA Tom Israel, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button.